Well, it looks like Microsoft is being Microsoft and they are trying their best to stop you from having a local account. Now, before I continue, remember, you can help me out by doing what's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, comment. Now, of course, there's always going to be ways around this, or at least I hope so. There's a way around it if, for example, you have... Windows 11, 25H2, the Pro version, the home is a little bit harder to crack, but you can actually do it when you are installing it. And that's a little unfair, to be honest, because the majority of people, even high-end gaming computer systems, will come with Windows 11 home. Usually you install it like that first, and then you update the key to Pro. But, you know, that's going to give you some headaches. Now, Chris Titus, uh, I will link you to his video as well. And there's another video that I will link as well. Check out the YouTube description down below if you want to check out those links and to find out how you can mitigate this and how you can find some solutions to install a local account. So this is one of the videos that I was referring to from Chris Titus. You open the command prompt. As an administrator, you enter the command line and that's it. You've got a local account and he's on this. So if something changes, more than likely, he will hopefully have a fix or workaround for it. Now, I wonder what the future holds when it comes to using local accounts. Like, for example, my apologies for cutting off the video, but this is just a short part of the full length video which is available on my channel. If you're interested, please visit my YouTube channel for the full video. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.